mister. You're obstructing traffic. I'm sorry. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Alright. She's tired of playing with toys. She needs a brother that she can have in just nine months. I asked you something. You didn't reply me. We don't need another child, at least not yet. But I don't understand. Jojo is nine years old, and you know I'm not getting any younger. Besides, you're the one who said we should talk about it when we are more stable. Yes, I did. But babe, we're okay now. Like I said, I'm not getting any younger. Unless you want to go and have a child with somebody else. What, what? What? No. It's you or no one else. Then the time is now. You can't bring the child into this world to suffer. What did you say? Nothing. No. I... Bueno, please. I'm really tired, okay? I need to sleep. Daddy, Winnie Pooh's nose gets longer, longer, and longer. Dad? Dad? Why are you listening to me? Dad? Yeah. I'm sorry. Why are you listening to me? I'm sorry. You're quiet. What's wrong? Daddy just has a lot on his mind right now. It's okay. Okay, but don't let it affect us. I just got off the phone with your boss, or should I say ex-boss, so you resigned your job without telling me? I know you won't agree, but I did this for you. For me? You resigned for me? Am I supposed to take over the office? Well, I need to spend some more time with my family. Jojo already feels like I'm distant from her. If you want to spend time with us, vacation is the word, not resignation. Well, I've made my decision. Oh, so you don't care about how I feel? Baby, you know I care about how you feel. I just don't know how I would explain this in a way that you would understand. I'm sorry. No, there's more to this. There's something you're not telling me. We promise to never keep secrets. So what's the problem? Jojo! Jojo! Jojo, please open the door. Honey, please, let us in. You see, it's all your fault. It's your fault. You know how much you hate it when we raise our voices. Are you not the one who calls it? You're the one me. Excuse me. Excuse me. I love you, honey. Jojo. Honey, honey, I'm sorry. You like me, Dad. I asked if Mom was happy and you said yes. Of course I'm happy, honey. But I saw you both arguing. No, 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 honey. We, we're not arguing at all. We were just trying to sort something out. Right, honey? 
Exactly. We're sorry, okay? Mom? Yes, honey. Are you happy? Of course, I'm happy, honey. I love you, Mom. I love you, too. Now it's time for you to go to bed, okay? It's time for you to go to bed now. Robert's here. Madam, your husband is alive. Um, he was involved in a ghastly collision with a truck, and his face uh, certainly damaged. Um, you may not even be able to recognize him. And that means that we have to carry out a surgery immediately if we're to save his life. Go ahead, you have my permission. Is there anything you need me to sign? That's not the issue now, madam. You see... Then what is it? You're making me nervous, doctor. So his face is seriously damaged. So what are the chances? If we're to salvage this situation, we need to carry out a facial surgery immediately. And that means that I have to bring in a vascular surgeon and a burn surgeon immediately. Fortunately for us though, um, two of my friends are visiting from the UK and they're experts in that area. my phone. How is he? He's not fine. The doctor said he requires a face surgery. His face is severely damaged. Severely damaged? Yes. Tim's face is going to change. Is it that serious? He goes to surgery in one hour. I want to speak to Jojo. You know how emotional she gets when it comes to her father. I know. Where is she? She's still in school. And we have less than one hour to make a decision. Oh, God. Sorry, come on. Come on, take it out, okay? psychologist will be here with her soon. She will help you every step of the way. Thank you. I've been with Tim my whole life. Since our secondary school days, I've gotten used to his smile when he wants to talk to me. How will I live without seeing that face again? Reno, please don't start. Okay, come on this. It's only a facial change. His character remains the same. Listen, I think we should bother or concern ourselves with him having a successful surgery. But he's been acting weird these last three days. I don't understand. How do you mean by that? He never spoke to me. 
It was until you called. Did you guys have any misunderstanding? No. Tim is a very good man. We've never had any misunderstanding or argument in our home. I suspect something has been bothering him. I think uh, what we should concern ourselves with is for him to have a very successful surgery, okay? Mm? Think about Jojo, alright? Mm? It's okay. Thank you. He's just fine. Meaning the surgery was successful. Very successful. Please sit, Mrs. Roberts. Thank you. Um, Mrs. Roberts, I want you to know that his recovery will be gradual. I'm not so sure as of now if he'll be able to recognize a lot of things, but we do hope he comes to full recovery. All the same, thank you very much. Oh, you're very welcome, sir. It's, it's, it's all good. But I do know you know um, we have to keep him here for now so that we can monitor his recovery. Uh, shortly, we'll wheel him out of the theatre into the ICU, so I'm sure you'll be able to see him. Everything will be just fine. Thank you. Thank you're you very welcome. much. You're welcome. Sir. God bless you. Thank you. Eh? Thank you. Take your I don't want to go to school. Why? I want to see my daddy. <sighs> daddy will be okay soon. But you have to go to school. I promise to take you to go and see him after school, okay? Give me a pick. Oh yeah, let's go and take your bath. Daddy. Oh my god. I'm so sorry, okay? Your daddy's gonna be fine. Okay? What can I do to make you happy? Huh? Okay, don't worry. You'll be fine. Be happy, okay? Call the doctor. Yeah, I think it's good. Yeah, sure. It's good? Yeah, it's good. And it's quite stable then. Good news. Nurse? Sir. Please bring in his family. You were trying to tell me something, honey. And I let my emotions get the best of me. I'm sorry. I need you to get well soon. For me. For Jojo. You promised to take her swimming today. Dad, I'm missing you. When are you coming back? I'm not eating anything till you come back. Don't say anything, honey. Jojo, Daddy will get well soon, okay? And when he does, he will take you for your piano lessons, as he promised. All right. 
scared to hell that I wasn't going to see your pretty face again. It will take more than the hands of death to stop me from seeing your face again. You Joe, honey, I missed you. I couldn't go away with the fact that I had a promise to take you swimming. Come to daddy. Jojo, go to daddy. Go to daddy. apologize for my resignation. Shh. Let's talk about that another day. We should celebrate your new handsome face with something more memorable. Tonight has the answer to many of my questions, and I don't want them expressed audibly. I want them expressed inaudibly. Um, babes, um, look, I, 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 I'm still not fully recovered from the, 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 the whole process. So what? Was that affected also? Yes, baby. Every part of my body was affected. I, I, I feel so much pain every, everywhere. I just need time to recover. Okay? All right. Yeah. I hope you get well soon. Yeah, me too. I can't wait to have you. <laughs> me too. <sighs> me too. Early, then I'll take you sweeping. Okay, okay? Oh, you know, that's my hug. <laughs> oh, you, you 
It's in too much. <laughs> okay, time to go to school, okay? Let's go. Excuse me, where have you been all day? Hey, babe, what, what kind of question is that? I've been at work, of course. It's 1 a.m. I know. Look, I, I, I had a series of meetings that ran into late hours, and I'm sorry, I was supposed to call you and inform you, but it skipped my mind. I hope you know I called your secretary, and she said you did not show up to work today at all. Oh, yes. That's because I had my meetings outside the office not inside the office. I see, but you just said you were at work. I mean, work is work. Whether inside the office or outside the office, so far it's income generating, it's work. And you don't find it strange that your secretary knew nothing about your time-consuming meetings? Do I sense some trust issues here? I just missed you. That's more like it. <sighs> wow. I'm tempted to ask why you've not had this accident all this while. <laughs> I beg your pardon? <laughs> Don't mind me, but it seems like this accident repaired some of your organs. Tonight your performance was so epic. I've not had this since we got married. <laughs> Maybe I should um, allow a trailer hit me next time. <laughs> mm. Sorry, my keys. Hi. Hi. Hello. Um, so sorry, I, I, I don't mean to be to be rude. Uh, can I get your number or a card I, I could uh, use to reach you? Well, if I am correct, there's a ring on your finger. So why do you want to see me? It's just uh, as friends, you know, nothing, no harm intended. Okay. Um, let me give you my card. Well, make sure you don't call me at odd hours. Uh, no, I, I won't call you at all.
Honey, hmm? I hope you remember to take Jojo for her piano lessons this evening. Oh, um, um, sorry, I forgot. You forgot? Um, babe, look, I, I, I'm going to have a business meeting later this evening, so can you please help me take her instead? Okay, no problem. You won't believe what she asked me today, though. What's that? If you truly were her father. I was so shocked. Um, of course, I'm, I'm, I'm her father. Well, I reassured her, so... Skyrod. I just uh, retired. Mm. You made lots of money then. Wasn't really about the money. I just uh, needed to try something new. Okay. I actually worked with them for 10 years and after that I felt there was a need for change. Enough about me. Tell me about you. Well, I'm just a real estate consultant. And that's where the real box is. <laughs> yes. Well, if you say so. Yeah. <laughs> Tell me. What do you really want from me? Is it sex? I want friendship and everything that comes with it, something light. <laughs> something light. <laughs> You're such a character, you know. You know, my, my friends used to tell me to become an actor. Well, I think you should give that a try. She's downstairs watching TV, but she refused to eat until you return. I guess she's just um, angry with me for not taking her to piano classes. She's very angry. You know what? I'll make it up to both of you, okay? Okay. Let me go check up on her. Okay? I'm, I'm so sorry I couldn't make it for your piano classes today. I promise you it would not happen again, okay? Okay. And I promise to make it up to you and mommy, okay? Daddy, I love you. I love you too. So, what are you watching? Sports. Mm, I'm Chelsea. Then that's for life. Nah, you should join Chelsea. Mm. Okay. <sighs> so what are you doing today? <laughs> oh, it's a goal! I told you I was gonna win. <laughs> you see?
Sweetie darling, how are you? And how is my angel Jojo doing? She's fine. She's at school. Why are you sounding like that? The man I am living with is not my husband. What are you saying? He doesn't behave like my husband. But the doctor said his recovery is going to be gradual. Are you sure you're not rushing him? Then I wish he would recover as soon as possible. I need my husband back. Then take a vacation. I'm sure if you guys spend time together, it will help his recovery fast. Honey. Oh, yeah, what's up? I think we should take a vacation. <sighs> yeah, that's a brilliant idea. I mean, especially now, um, Jojo is on a uh, midterm break. That's exactly. But where do you think we should go? Why don't you make a choice? Mm, I love the green resort. Um, I like it too. You know what, why don't you make arrangements and I'll call them the title book reservations. Really? All right, let me go make you something to eat. Okay. See you soon. I, I have been calling your office, sir. Yes, uh, I've not been on seat, yes? Um, well, doctor, we've been waiting to hear from you so we can schedule the patient's surgery. Well, uh, you're going to have to refer all surgical matters to Dr. Farouk now, huh? Dr. Farouk? Uh-huh. But, but, doctor, you're the surgical director. Yes, uh... Not anymore, Paul. Not anymore.
serving drinks here. I had a look at your CV. I mean, I could talk to my uncle and you could be a manager in his company. Thanks a lot for the offer, man. But uh, I like it here. What? What dignity is there in serving drinks? A man who must fly must first learn to walk. Okay. Okay. Carry on with your work. You look radiant tonight. Of course I do. I bought it on your last birthday. Wow, so you actually remember. You know I'm wearing this dress just to bring back your memory. Tim, you mean the world to me. I love you. I love you too. Madam, I'm looking for my daughter. She's in her complexion. Have you seen her anywhere? Yeah, I saw her walking towards the gate. Towards the gate? Jojo, what were you thinking? You could have gone missing out there. I saw Dad. You saw who? Daddy, he, he went also. Honey. Your daddy is sitting right here in front of you. No, I, I saw daddy. It's, 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 it's okay. She needs to rest now. take Jojo a while to get used to your new face. She's very emotional when it comes to you. I've already lost my face. Today, I almost lost my daughter. She'll be fine. We we'll leave first thing tomorrow morning, okay? But we just got here. My daughter is more important to me. Yes, and you too. Babes, look, what, what if she gets missing again? I can't take those chances. We leave first thing tomorrow morning, okay? I promise to keep an eye on her. 
for the past is more money. It's okay, madam. Have you happened to see this man anywhere here? Not really. But he has a striking semblance with one of our staff. Just that he is older than him. I think my daughter saw him and thought it was her father. Oh. Anyway, we are leaving first thing tomorrow morning. So soon? I thought you were spending up to a week here. My husband is very angry about what happened and he's not ready to take any more chances. Is there nothing I can do to change his mind? <laughs> I'm not sure, madame. Not my husband. My husband, though, he said we should come back. But why? The vacay was meant to be for a week. Imagine Jojo got missing just a day after we arrived. Missing? How? We were together by the poolside. She was even playing. Next thing she disappears. We searched everywhere for her. And when we finally found her, you won't imagine what she said. What? That she saw her father leaving the hotel. So she decided to chase after him. I'm confused. But I thought you said you were together with your husband at the poolside. That's what's confusing me. I even showed the supervisor a picture of Tim. And she said there's a striking resemblance between him and one of the staff. But then she said the staff looks a bit older. Did you get to see the staff? No, he was off duty a day after we arrived. And then Tim gets angry and says we should leave. I'm beginning to get uncomfortable with this whole event. I don't know. I think we should visit the doctor who operated on my husband. I need to be sure it was truly my husband that was operated on. You know, I never got to see his face. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, ma'am. How may I help you? My name is Reno Roberts, and I'm here to see Dr. Kiran. Oh, okay. He no longer works here. Why? Mm, he resigned a few months ago. Resigned? Yes. Do you happen to know where he works now? Mm, no, I don't. I'm sorry. Okay. Thank you. Let's Hello. go. Alex, now this thing is getting way too complicated. If what that lady said is true, that means he resigned after the surgery. Exactly. But I was told he was the best surgeon and he was trained in the UK. So why would he want to resign? Are you sure this is not connected to Tim? We can't conclude yet. It could be a coincidence. Mrs. Robert. Um, do I know you? I know you. I took care of your husband after the surgery. Oh, please. I'm looking for Dr. Kiran. He no longer works here. He resigned after the surgery. 
I've been very disturbed since he left. Disturbed? Why exactly? He was never the same person after the operation. He lost his joy. I could tell. I was very close to him. I asked him what the problem was, but he never talked about it. Oh. Well, do you know where he works now? No, I don't. You know what? This is my card. If you get any information about him, please let me know. It's very important. Okay, I will. Thank you very much. Actually happened, man. I just feel like leaving. Is, is it because of what I said the other day? Not at all, man. A couple terminated their stay here because their daughter almost got missing, following you around, um, saying you look like her father. I didn't notice. Why are you leaving? I mean, it's, I've just known you from a few months, but it feels like, like years. And maybe it's because I've just been scared to tell you that I love you, but I guess it's, it's, I guess it's too late now. Why can't you stay? It hurts when you don't love the one person that truly loves you. It hurts even more when you don't love yourself. You're getting me confused now. You don't, you mean you don't love yourself? I have to leave now, Ma. Thank you for the opportunity to serve you. Home. <laughs> Welcome, babe. Yes, baby. How are you? I'm not feeling too well, but I managed to prepare some dinner for you. What's the issue? Guess. You're pregnant. Yes. <laughs> are you serious? You're pregnant. <laughs> I'm so excited. Look, I know I never wanted this, okay? But I'm happy. At least finally, Jojo will have someone to play with. I love you. I love you too. Okay, let me pick you off this, okay? Okay. <laughs> See you later. Hi, Doc. Um, it's me, Dr. Paul. Ah, yes, um, Dr. Paul. You had a visitor today, sir. What is it that cannot wait until morning? <sighs> Mrs. Reno Roberts. Um, does, does she know where I work now? I don't think so, sir. The receptionist does not have that information. Okay, okay. Um, it stays that way, huh, Dr. Paul? I've been, I've been uh, going through a lot uh, recently. I need, I need some time to rest. 
And I appreciate the call, yes. I appreciate the call, Dr. Paul. Okay, sir. Good night, sir. Yeah, good night. Are you surprised to see me? Not, not really. Uh, it's a small world. Uh, I'm just curious, how did you find me here? You're one of the best plastic surgeons in the country, so even if I can't locate you by phone, Google will definitely show me your workplace. And who's she? She's my Google. She found you. Do I know you? Not really. But if I need someone, I will find him. Listen, how about you start by telling me why you resigned from your former hospital? <clears throat> uh, please sit. Dr. Kirin, I've been sitting down all day. I need answers and I need them urgently. Okay, uh, well, it's an internal policy. Um, and a code of ethics in my profession um, to be protective of secrets. So, how can I help you, Mrs. Roberts? Listen, that man you operated on is not my husband. I don't understand. The man I'm living with is not my husband. Don't you have any pictures of him before the surgery? Oh, madam, he came in in critical condition. We didn't have the luxury of time to be taking pictures. I guess if you really want pictures, uh, you'd have to visit the Road Safety Commission. Uh, I mean, they, they brought him in in the ambulance. But did you find any IDs on him? Yes, yes. Um, his professional ID showed um, Tim Roberts, a civil engineer, yes, um, with Sky Rod, I think. Yes, my husband worked with Sky Rod. They even brought me the clothes from the hospital, soaked in blood. But his character is not the same. Oh. Madam, I've operated on very many patients with head injuries. More than 40% of them take more than a year to recover. If you rush them through the process, it can have negative effects. So, look, your husband will be fine. Just give him time. Hmm? Yeah. Uh. Keeping you waiting. That's fine. How are you? I'm okay. I got a text from your husband yesterday saying he wanted to see me today, also with an address where we we'll meet. Listen, I can't risk my life because of sex. 
Babes, come on, man. Look, 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 I'm clean. And I'm sure you're clean. Too. Let's let me the whole No, 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 hold on. Let's do this some other time, please. Thank you. Before the accident, was your husband a womanizer? Tim never even used to hang out. He was either at home or at work. Just keep an eye on him for me, eh? Your account will surely be credited within the hour. Okay then, take care. I want my family back. How did you get in here? Should I remind you that this is still my house? I know the ins and outs of it. Maybe you should start by telling me how you're still alive. You betrayed me! You betrayed my trust! You betrayed my wife! So you expect me to sit down here and feel guilty for a crime that you committed? Huh? I must be joking. I want my family back! It's already too late for that. Because I'm in love with her. And she's carrying my baby. She's my wife now. What do you mean my wife? Nah. I think she's back already. She can't go. Oh, I'm not going anywhere. Don't be stupid. Look, this is the wrong place and time for this kind of discussion. You need to go before she finds you here. Okay? Get out. talking to? I heard voices. Um, my business partner was on the phone with a business partner. Uh, hi, how are you today? <sighs> my day has been so hectic. The doctor said I need a lot of rest. I can't imagine. You know what? You should go upstairs and have a shower while I prepare dinner for you. Okay? Okay. I'm sorry that it has took a while, Tim. Um, but I just wanted to be sure of the prognosis. Um, well, <clears throat> the test results um, show that you have brain cancer. Cancer? Yes. Um, and the cancer has metastasized to other parts of the body. Even your two kidneys have been badly affected. Um, <clears throat> Doctor, are, are you sure? What are my chances? Well, you see, <clears throat> in my years of practice, I, I've never seen anything like this. I'm even surprised that you're alive with, uh, with what I'm seeing here. Dr. Karen, 
you've come highly recommended. Are, are you absolutely sure that there's nothing you can do for me? My wife, my... I'm sorry, Tim, uh, but you see, I'm just a surgeon. And there are things that I can handle. Yes. But there are things that only God can handle. God, this is one of them. Um, this is a check, five million naira. Madam, I came to pick up my daughter and I'm being told she was picked up by her father. He just left, not quite long you came in. But I left my husband at home. One second, please. Honey, I came to pick up Jojo and I'm being told she was picked up by her father.
It's me, Tim Roberts, your true husband. I don't even know who my true husband is anymore. A while ago, I was told that my husband's face was damaged and required a face surgery. And now you come with the same face, claiming to be my husband. Meanwhile, another man is in my house, also claiming to be my husband. I don't know who to believe anymore. I can explain. Explain what? Where is Jojo? Calm down, okay? Jojo is safe. <sighs> Let me explain. George, I, I need you to do me a lifetime favor. What is it? to one of these countries, it's India, where you have good doctors that can... Bro, do you think I have not thought about that? If it's something money can solve, trust me, we won't even be here. Please, bro, I really need you in this one. Please. I'm begging. I couldn't bear the pain of seeing your heart over my debt. What you're asking for is against medical practice, Mr. Roberts. Do you have a family, Dr. Karen? Yes. 
wife and two daughters. Then you would understand what I'm doing here today. My wife would die of hypertension when she finds out I'm about to die. And what do you think will happen to my daughter? Resorts. Yes, I walked there pending my last days on earth. So Jojo saw you after all? Yeah, I, I saw her too when I was leaving the hotel. Something in me told me she was telling the truth. I already made the very terrible mistake by leaving my family. And that's why I want to spend my remaining days with the ones I love, my daughter and my wife, please. So you think everything is just gonna be okay? For the past seven months, I have been living and sleeping with another man, a man that I'm pregnant for, and you come out of God knows where and think everything is just gonna go back to normal. Where is Jojo? Jojo is safe, she's with Alex. Listen, I don't ever want to see you around me or my daughter again! Reno. Wow. How's Jojo? She's not doing well. Oh, wow. She's, she's not. She's, she's just confused. She's, she's not happy. She's not okay. She's a strong young kid. She'll get over it. You think so? Well, let's keep praying now. Two things defines a man. His decisions. And his ability to live with the consequences of his decisions. I am here to face the consequences of my decisions. Saint when you approach me! You know everything about me before you approach me! 
You knew you I was on a bloody street! Let me tell you something. She is carrying my child in her womb. I am not gonna lose her or that child for anything in this world. Do you understand me? When the child is born, you can have the baby. You can live with the pain. But you will never, ever take my wife. Just so you know, it is not over yet. It is not over yet!